Definitely looks good up close. A fantastic run. Absolutely. Did I just get a job? So I have to tell you guys, I got really confused because it was called the Bang Bang Club, and I was expecting something completely you were going different. To see a <laughs> totally. You got a dirty Sweet. mind, girl. I thought this was like a documentary it. about that place in San Francisco. I don't know. Really? <laughs> nope. Different. Different. Yeah, different this thing. is a little bit more serious. Okay. Don't you at least pretend to be scared? Clarify, please. Uh, it is the story of four war photographers and them exposing the apartheid through their pictures by getting into the uh, war zones and taking these pictures that raised awareness throughout the world, really. At the time. You decided to join up with these crazies, hey? Huh? Now I think we need to clarify even further. Exposing apartheid, not exposing parts, which could get really not confusing parts. Wow, yeah. with yeah. all of this. Although okay. there are still parts there, exposed. By the way. Still there. Yeah. <laughs> She's never gonna leave that. Yeah. I don't think we can help you. It's a hardcore <laughs> porn about guys taking pictures of guys. That's it. Wow! wow. <laughs> well, it's just going on top of yours. <laughs> Apparently, I just got. You just sold it. What's wrong with you? I had one holy shit day, I guess it was, because Robin was in the office most of the most of the time, and um, I had th that day was when I got to go um, with Ryan Fuga's character, who plays Greg Marinovich, um, to this shanty town, and you know it, we were he was taking pictures of a, of a dead baby, and it was a really horrifying day and sort of and it's it dawned on me that this actually happened in real life and those are the times where you go holy shit mm. these guys actually lived through this did i just get a job were any of the extras in the movie actual vi villagers from uh we that had area? there's a, a scene where we had about 2000 1500 uh in that street fight mm -hmm. street um, and a lot of people, we shot actually when that there was a march on that street. We had people coming out of those houses. Uh, some were for and against us doing the film, but they lived in March too. So it was, uh, you know, quite intense doing that. We had to stop a few times uh, because people just wouldn't let us film. I mean, we had uh, one woman come out who was in her 60s that was just. Um, I mean, she you gotta it. understand, you know, we're, we're reliving this and doing it quite uh, accurately. So when she walks out her door and sees this, it's... Um, she thinks it's on again. Yeah, so she, it was an intense day. Absolutely. For this being as serious a film as it is, there is a lot of skin. I'm sorry. There is a lot of skin. <laughs> we gotta really? give everybody a break, you know what I mean? Seriously. There's a little bit of skin. Yes, there's it's skin. Bad. It's hers mostly. It's my. Well, actually, you no. have an underwear scene as well. No, how do you yeah, know? You wake weren't up there. In a drug house. If you think that's sexy, fuck. maybe she does. Hey, you she's don't a know me. Woman. Yes. She's like this emaciated, drug addicted photojournalist, and you're. Yeah. Baby, it's rock and roll. I'm out just to saying. That one. She finds it hot. <laughs> yes, it is. Don't judge. Now, see. Now no judgment. Too late. I judged no you judgment. way over there when you first went there. Great. Government is using it to show how we animals cannot govern ourselves. Is that what you think? I'm haunted by the vivid memories of killings and corpses and anger and pain. It's the motherfucking Bang Bang. You gotta see it. Go see the fucking Bang Bang Club. <laughs> That's good. Who are you talking to? Right? I don't know. It's <laughs> over there. Camera. It's funny. <laughs> you're, like, you're gonna you're gonna talk to them directly. <laughs> yeah, go fucking see it. <laughs>